sprung in and Big Brass and the green and white about to come along. And the field looks set, flag up, racing in the champions. El Pitcher the favourite from the inside. One of the first out and Young Rake was very slow to move, missed at four or five lengths. Norfolk Realm came out of the gate very quickly and so did Badgers Coast and at the end of the first 200 metres Norfolk Realm went to the front with Badgers Coast a length away second. El Pitcher third and the favourites immediately in the box seat. A length away Ingalls side followed by Big Brass on the inside of Glory Gulch. Power Act is three deep around that pair. Abby's Lad is second last and Young Rake after that awkward start had dropped out to the tail of the field. Norfolk Realm is the leader as they work to the 1400 metres mark. Showed the way by more than a length. Badgers Coast second, sitting one deep on the outside of the favourite L pitcher. Two lengths to Ingalls side, three quarters away, Big Brass on the fence. Followed by Power Act and then Glory Gulch. Abby's Lad is second last and Young Rake had tacked on at the tail of the field. Norfolk Realm is the pilot as they continue their journey down the side of the track. Led by more than a length over Badgers Coast in second spot. El Pitcher the favourite still third, still enjoying the run of the race, locked up on the fence on the inside of Ingalls side, then Power Act, Glory Gulch, Big Brass. Abby's Lad is second last and Young Rake will have to come from the tail of the field as heads are turned for home. 750 metres left to go in the champions. Norfolk Realm has been in front for a long way, led by more than a length over Badgers Coast. Ingleside third. El Pitcher the favourite has a ton of room on the inside to do his best, followed by Big Brass and then Glory Gulch and further back Power Act. Ingleside out wide and Badgers Coast had gone up with 400 metres to go. El Pitcher closer to the fence, Norfolk Realm in the centre and Glory Gulch in the brown and white coming through between horses. El Pitcher and Badgers Coast on the grandstand side. Big Brass on the fence going through to join them but Badgers Coast in front with 150 metres left to go. Big Brass is trying hard to run him down. It's Badgers Coast in front, Big Brass and Young Rake. Young Rake lunged photo. Young Rake in a photo from Badgers Coast and Big Brass. Then El Pitcher, Glory Gulch, Norfolk Realm, Ingleside Power Act and Abbey's Lad was last of all. Folk father alike and at last this fellow's managed to crack his grade one. Yes, and you know he got left in the July, if you remember, and yep. just got touched off. Um, but it's truly a wonderful day and I just want to take, it's, it's, it's a very special day. You know, I must just thank my dad for teaching me all he did because it was in this very area 35, 34 years ago that he put me on a horse in, in the, up the road down in the small stables when he gelded it. I used to walk it in the paddock and he taught me all that I know now. And this is our home turf and um, we know what's best here. Yeah. For Armin Ferraris, I think it's a fitting tribute. But, uh, you know, when you, when you saw this horse go down to the post, despite all the, uh, the antics that he experienced at the gate, you, you must have been slightly apprehensive when the gates were pulled. I was very, but um, he did go down extremely well today. Um, you know, he, as I say, he got left in the July. I don't know, not as much as he got left today. But um, I must just take my head off to Pierre. You know, I fight with him a lot, perhaps because we're two professional people. But uh, I have a lot of arguments with him. But uh, I won't be arguing. He can toss a good few for the next few <laughs> weeks. It's fine. David, thank you very much. And well done. Pierre, <coughs> well, guys, we're getting a big round of applause here for Pierre Stratum. My producer, Dieter Walberg, very astutely managed to notice that uh, you were in some kind of pain during the running of this race. Yeah, um, you know, I didn't, have, I couldn't get my foot in the iron because the horse uh, normally plays up in the pens and uh, uh, he was leaning on the one side and I couldn't get my foot in the iron. So when the, when the pens opened, I was still leaning on the one side and so we took a bit of a knock on, on the shoulder. Um, uh, he fly jumped, almost fell off and uh, for, I think for three, four strides the horse was like stunned. He didn't know what was going on. And uh, that's why I, I rode a waiting race, so I had to after that, you know, because I had to use him to, to get in, back into the race and, uh, well, just try and hold him up as long as possible. A superb performance at level weights when you consider the differential in weights between him and Alpicha in the Rothman July. And he, he looks like he's now got his confidence and he might well be able to pick up another couple. Yeah, for sure. I've always underrated him. Uh, to me, I never thought he's one of the, uh, the better horses, you know, at level weights. And, uh, well, Greg Blank was saying to me the whole, the whole day, he said, this is going to win it. And I said, well, I thought it was my worst ride for the day. So, you know, I think maybe Greg must... Uh, give us your shares. Well, maybe give us a call as well and discuss some form with us. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre, congratulations for a courageous and brave ride and uh, great to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, folks, it's time for the presentation. Mr. Collie Fram is coming to join me over here to present to the uh, deserved connections over here. David Ferraris, Greg Blank, Larry Nestat, Mr. Bernard Cantor overseas. 
And let's not forget about Fastfontaine Stud. They are the breeders of the son of Rakeen, the mighty Rakeen who continues to do such wonderful things in South Africa, the son of Northern Dancer. First of all, let's uh, break with a bit of tradition. Let's call up the winning trainer first, David Ferraris. The day so far has belonged to him. Right, the next winning jockey is Pierre Stratum. Isn't it wonderful to hear the acclaim of the crowd over here this afternoon? Gregory Lex Blank, your next winning owner. <laughs> right, raise it up. Raise it up like Boris Becker would. Well done, Gregory. <laughs> Well, folks, thank you very much for joining us. I just want to quickly give you the uh, the groom. His name is Alpheus Nkosi. If we can give it to uh, Alfred Nkosi, he's the man that's taking care of young Rake. Well done, Alfred. Thank you very much for your preparation of young Rake, the way you look after him, and uh, may your success be long-lived.